I'd like to uh, congratulate <coughs> I'd like to congratulate you repeat this out to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am at the right place. I am at the right place. At the right time. At the right time. I am at the right place. I am at the right place. At the right time. At the right time. Hallelujah. 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 Shalom, shalom, shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. shalom. Welcome to Yahweh and, and you should speak television show. We are here in Everson, Illinois at the Hebrew Husband and Wife Ministry. Continuing on the lesson after these marvelous last feast days he has brought us to uh, the Feast of Tabernacle and the eighth late la last great day. I will yeah. praise the mighty God bring it to us. All oh, his cadets come to this season this year. Yeah. It was a special season because the Passat Passover was exact yeah. like it was when Yeshua did it thousand yeah. years ago. Yeah. And we have lived through this plague. Yes. What went on? We are in spiritual Goshen. Group of saints right. holding on to the everlasting name of God, sure. Mm -hmm. Just that they was in physical Goshen then, yeah. but I knew no one was spiritual Goshen. That's right. We yeah. were protected just as he promised them to do. But mm -hmm. our being, I never thought I'd be living through a plague, but he prepared me for the plague. Yeah. He thought I'd read because yeah. I believed in everything he said yeah. from Genesis yeah. to Revelation. Mm -hmm. And that's what we, that is a must mm -hmm. do. Yeah. How are y'all yeah. So let's, let me, I like to read something for you all, Eric. It says, Yeshua is not merely an outstanding person who lived and died many years ago. According to the scripture, Yeshua is Elohim, the Baha who cried on earth as a Adam so that he, he might give us kind blood to rescue sinful mankind from the power of sin and, and Satan and Marbeth. He is, a, he is Kaya today and gives eternal God to all who come to him. Accepting or rejecting Yeshua is a matter of life or, or death. Sure he who has the, the, the Son has life. Mm -hmm. Who has done not have the Son of Elohim does not have life. Mm -hmm. Let's go 1st Yaka 9. 1st Yaka 9. 1st Yaka 9. 1st Yaka 9. First Yaka 9, chapter 5. First Yaka 9, chapter 5. First Yaka 9, chapter 5. And let's read verse 12. First John, chapter 5, and verse 12. He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the son of Elohim hath not life. This is it. That's Having a cat today in this cat right here, and this is him, he's our Yeshua for eternal cat. Right. So those who throw away Yeshua away, woe to you. Mm -hmm. I have hoped that you repent yeah. and, 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 and before you move, as Roman kind said, you mm -hmm. move with that hot eye. That's what you're gonna be so fat on. Yeah. Woe to you. It's all y'all and y'all call yourself uh or the Zig Navarre, the Old Testament, uh, Torah based people. It's all throughout the book. Yeah. That was common. Yeah. So you've been Zaha, you've been warned. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. Mm -hmm. So it's and in our Amber they say, nor is there nor is there any Yeshua or any other. For there is no other shim on the Shemayim given among Allah by which we must be Yeshua. Yeshua. So there it is. Yeah. There it is. We went, read it, and we went to script. You don't believe what's written, it's just not a believer. Right. No, no, who you, you are? Yeshua said, I was on my. You are good that day, the devil. And people want to talk about, yeah, it's the Antichrist. When he comes upon the scene, the world is practically at the end. But you want to know who Antichrist is? You! Yeah. If you don't believe this book, you are Antichrist. You are against my Mashiach. Yeah. Any of his is any of mine, he said. Yeah. You are the Antichrist. If you don't believe what's written from Genesis race, Jack Revelation, you are, you are Antichrist. Right. You are Antichrist. Mm -hmm. Don't get good as he's teaching the Antichrist. Yeah, he's coming. 
But you against God now, you anti God, you a rebel of his. Mm. Oh, praise to my Abba Yahweh. In Yeshua's grace, him. Amen. Bless the mighty Yah. Praise the mighty Yah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Let's go to Leviticus. And then, like when we say we we go Genesis Revelation, we just don't mean we when we start here but Genesis, we stop to go there. Just read, he said, line up on line, peace up on me. We bounce. Because yeah. the whole book is Yeshua. Yeah. Yeah. Whole book is Yeshua. Yeah. You see, now I'm reading Old Testament is the shadow of things to come. He was given the Torah, you know, the ways of how to live. Then the New Testament, the Kadaspari, that's when he came and gave the testimony and, and flesh of his daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise the Abba Yahweh, yeah. Yeshua, praise him, my man. Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus chapter 19. With that said, we got so with that being said, the, the, the title is, the title of this marvelous lesson. I am Yeshua. I rest my case. So he gave you, he, 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 he identified himself, gave you introduction to himself, and Yeshua is the judge. What he say is fine. Sure, yeah. He's the he's the he's the prosecuting attorney. You will be found guilty. And he's the this the defense attorney. He defends his righteous dog So you That's cannot it. win. So you cannot win. He's letting you know I am sure yeah, I rest sure. my case. Yeah. What he said he written from Genesis to Revelation, yeah. he has rest his case. Yeah. And he said on that cross, it is finished. Sure did. Mm -hmm. So when he, he left this, he left, he left the, the Nabi before, you know, as he was told him in the old, and he left mm -hmm. the disciples, the apostles, and all that mm -hmm. afterward. Mm -hmm. And he got his apostles and all that. Now be not us. Mm -hmm. It's Kohanim, it's priesthood. Yeah. Yeah. Us. Mm -hmm. We the remnant. Because mm -hmm. Yah, Yah is real. Mm -hmm. Just so what he, what he written is fine. He yeah. said, I am sure I rest my case. Mm -hmm. So if you get the state, get with and believe these dollar rings, or all you're gonna be the judge, the prosecutor, yeah. and the defense, mm -hmm. the attorney on you. Praise Yahshua. Praise the mighty name. Mm -hmm. Leviticus yeah. chapter 19. Leviticus chapter 19. What he said and written here is fine. Yes, it is. He gave it up. When he gave it up on the cross, it's all done. Mm -hmm. He said, he told me, you, they, they, they may try to add to it that and take away. They can't, though. Mm -hmm. because, because you thinking it's one way, it's this way. Yep. Leviticus 19, chapter 18. I mean, verse 18. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any judge, any mm -hmm. grudge against the children of thy people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Yahweh. He said, he let you know. He, he said, I am sure. I rest my case. This is what he, he yeah. tells you nothing. You don't convince. You shall you shall not advance. Right. Nor bear any grudge against the high band of thy am. But thou shalt I have thy neighbor as thyself. I am yet sure. I am Yahweh. That's what he, as he said, the good Samaritan, they say, they say, who is my neighbor? You try to read you all the time read. He said, your neighbor. Your neighbor is any man you can pro, uh, Judah Matt. Your neighbor. Anybody that you see, that's your neighbor. Mm -hmm. And he tells you, you know who the children, that, that against the children of God am. You know that's Israel. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So this is a command. But it's written, it's spoken, it's a command. Mm -hmm. He rests this case. I am sure this is fine. Psalm chapter 65. Psalms chapter 65. There's no excuse. It's written in the book. No excuse with Yahweh. No excuse. You ain't got no excuse once you now open up this book or somebody came towards you and you withdrew. Ain't no excuse with him. You can have one, but he letting you know. It's written. Oh, I forgot some of y'all don't believe in the in the Kadosh but where he said, I come in the whole volume of the book. And he's telling all of his commentary was written in, in the Kadosh Mary. So you give that up, that's giving you sure it's the same. Mm -hmm. You yep. say, don't believe him. Uh, he comes in his father's name. What's that guy? 
Right. Liars of the daddy the devil. It's red and he, he know once you got a red, he know who you are. And then he gets with you, and then all y'all, some of y'all be mad at the Jewish people, but y'all find they, 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 the Jewish fables. <laughs> find the Jewish fables, which yeah. is not y'all damn fables, but we put it on them Jewish fables. Mm -hmm. they, they, the, they, the, they the ones that bucked against God's words because the world think they the one. So they the business worker of their daddy, the devil, like all other baby religions, Max. You in a religion, it's petty. You, you, you worshiping your daddy, the devil. That's it. He say, yeah, I see a thousand upon thousand, but it ain't gonna happen on everybody, y'all. Somebody got to go to, to the lake of fire with their daddy, the devil. Yeah, they choose it too. Hallelujah, yeah, you choose it. It's a choice. Yeah. Psalm 65, verse four. Psalms chapter 65 and verse 4. Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causes to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. Yes. That's it. Barak is the high honor who thou choosest and causes to approach unto thee. And that he may dwell in thy court and shall be satisfied with the tobe of thy Bible, even of thy Kadesh temple. We go to his Kadesh temple and then, and then these could make I give you our Kadesh and these Kadesh dollar ring where the Ruach Hakadah come in and now that that temple we live and walk and live in temple. Yeah. But you gotta receive and believe. Mm -hmm. It's a free gift. That's what all kinds of it's free, but you don't accept it, you just be there. Mm -hmm. yep. So you gotta accept it. and believe. That's on you, it's a choice. You say, choose you this now, yeah. child of uh, uh, Marvet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> James Yacobet. James Yacobet, chapter 1. James Yacobet. I am Yeshua. I rest my case. Mm -hmm. It's final what I have written, let me written that for you all. So like this. The ethnic group took on to become the Pharisees, the scribes, the native Jewish people. Some of Israel is still present. So who are you? Well, are you going to do what I didn't want to prove? He didn't sign. He said, no sign to get on these signs he wanted you to have. That one sign of the owner that he come in the sign of the virgins back to the You got me on believe, two signs you don't believe. And, and, as, as the rich man says, send, send that, send a dead man back. And that they come, he says, you have the prophets and, and, and the apostles. Mm -hmm. And they believe that. That's, yeah. that's good enough. I ain't got to tell you nothing. Mm -hmm. Praise the mind. Somebody, mm -hmm. Ron McKay, if somebody comes to the dead, you know dead come walking, you run. Yep. You ain't trying to hear nothing they say. Nope. Holler Yahweh. James, Yacobay, Yacobay 1, chapter 1. Let's read verses 2 to... Uh, Two to four. James chapter one and verse two. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations. Mm -hmm. Verse three, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Verse four, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire and entire one wanting nothing. Hallelujah. Ma, count it all, son, come when you fall into diet temptation, all these foods and all that. Y'all got that, this, that, that the trying of your enemy not work with patience. But let patience have her perfect word. See, Judah Mackey, God, he's had her. See, y'all we not her. See, that's, that's, a, that's a high comparison. It's to use her perfect word. That you may be perfect and entire weight, one, and entire weight, one another. Perfect. At, you know, as the Roman critic, oh, I can be perfect. It's written in the New Testament. This is a command. Right. What is perfect? Perfect. Perfecting in the maturing of the dollar ring, but leaving yeah. everything said from Genesis to Revelation, yeah. practicing and living it, hearing and doing it. Mm -hmm. And then he said, and, and your attire, let your whole self be. So I can wear white, but that don't make you cadet. Mm -hmm. Your cadet is from the Sadaka uh, dollar ring. That's when you, 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 that's all it means in his, in his physical, cleaning up this nasty spirit we have in you. Yeah. It's been washed. Where snow, you become white as snow now. Mm -hmm. So you can get that glorious white robe and, and when he comes. Mm -hmm. 
then that's when you're going to have the material that's that way. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Y'all are trying to get something to you. Devil trying to take it away. He want to try, devil try to take the blessed life now and then keep you from your eternity, everlasting blessed life. You're listening to him by not being obedient. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Let's read verse 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Elohim, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Hallelujah. It was a, it was mm -hmm. a sister on favor. I say everybody must come spirit that I ain't no such thing as spirit as real. Well. And then oh it, I ain't had to go there. Now this I mark ark. That flesh and damn cannot enter the high male group of Yahweh. Neither does corruption inherit corruption. You got to come spiritual. Yes, yes. And you that. We this in spiritualness. And like you say, and corruption can not corruption can inherit incorrupt. You're doing wrong, you ain't gonna be there. Right. You ain't you ain't gonna be there. You ain't following this, this protocol from Jezreel. That's right. We in the army boot camp protocol like the army got. It. Boot camp in the army, you know, as he did that misery, he came out say with a great army. So you're an army, you're a warrior, you're a soldier. Mm -hmm. You're in boot camp. He tell you that. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna be there. Right. You ain't gonna be there. You got to the protocol with the Genesis the Revelation. Mm -hmm. And then the Kadash Marie telling you how to get all the last filth out of because Yeshua came and lived. Right. He was tempted, but he did not sin. Some people don't believe in their daddy the devil that he he he, he had to sin. No, he didn't have to. Mm -hmm. He came to show us that we didn't have to sin. Yeah, it's your choice. That's it, right there. It's something you want to do. Mm -hmm. Like Roman God say, it's pleasure to sin. I'm talking pleasure, but it's going to cost you. Yeah. Cause you in this fleshly body now. Because once you get caught up, it's bad for you, and then it costs you eternal okay? mm -hmm. And that's really bad. Yeah. So straighten it up right now, people. Yeah. Yachanan to 3. Yachanan chapter 3. John chapter 3. Yachanan, John chapter 3. And let's read verses 3. John chapter 3 and verse 3. Yeshua answered and said unto him, Amen, Amen. I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Elohim. That's it. He just letting you know, this is, this is it. He said, they're not all the way around. He said, I am sure. I rest my case. What I say is this. So you got to be submerged. Ain't no twinkling spray, bringing water on a little baby. They ain't a baby. Y'all say, a kind of video is 20 years old. Hey. Well, you like say, Barcelona, your mind ain't even developed that. Well, they can going to be 10, something like that. That's why they still child is like they're supposed to be. 10 and 20, he just started changing your scoop of brain around mm -hmm. to get this understanding. Mm -hmm. That ain't, ain't, and then what, what's, what's the protocol of, of baptism? To be submerged, the whole body going. It's, a, it's, it's symbolizing, it's the, the physical is symbolizing him and the spirit when he went into the grave and came up. Yes, sir. He went, he was in there, the whole body was in the septic. Mm -hmm. Not half. Mm -hmm. right. Praise the mighty God. Genesis. Yeah. 319. Here it is, Earth. Here it is when you die. Genesis 319. This is this is Yeshua. When Genesis 319. Here it is, Earth, when you die. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 19. In the sweat of thy face thou shalt eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art. And unto dust shall thou return. Hallelujah. In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat lack, till thou return unto the ground. For out of the ground was thou taken. Mm -hmm. From dust thou art, and from the, the dirt shall thou return. You go into the grave. 
You can't put your mom and your daddy, sister, brother, and all up in your mind right now. Then well, it would be no need for judgment. It would be no need for us to be I mean to be hollering Yahweh's darbarines at you. We can do whatever we want and live how we want and go to heaven when we die, immediately die. Yeshua, I am Yeshua. I rest my cake. You don't believe this, you don't believe in him. You're not a believer. Right. And here it is, people, for the dead. Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. You don't believe this? Y'all be talking, going to graves and talking. Talking, oh, that's happy, happy birthday. That's paganism, too. Yeah. So then he knows that you'll be a little yeah. arrow hand. Oh, this is my birthday month. You want people to bow down to you. This is it right here, people, for the people that's dead. Ecclesiastes, chapter 9. Ecclesiastes, you don't believe this? You call him my daddy and my big brother liar. And what did he just say? In the New Testament, most of y'all call y'all Roman Christian. No liar shall be in the king. That's right. Yeah, so late. here it is. You, call him, you, call him, you don't believe this? You call him the father and son a liar. He said, unless you repent before you move. He said, yeah, mercy, I'm going to be one mercy. But somebody got to go to Lake of Fire. Mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 5 to 6. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 5. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward. For the memory of them is forgotten. Hallelujah. The high God, y'all know that they shall move. But the high move, y'all are not anything. Neither have they any more a reward. For the memory of them is forgotten. They don't know nothing. They don't hear you. Don't know. They, it's gone. It's, right. so they, they, have, they, they sleep. They, they, it's, they, it's, it's, it's just there. They, it's, it's gone. It's held up. Continue. Verse 6, also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Also they have their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. They dead, it's gone. Now they sleep waiting on Waiting on the resurrection to be called, to, you know, hopefully, you know, they in the first. But it's that judgment after that. You're going to be, I mean, you're going to grow up and we're going to get together. There's going to be some fighting. But then they going to be, they going to sleep till it's time to be judged. And you got cremated, out of sea and got torn up. He bring you back as a whole body. Yeah. Give you out. The judge, you surpass you. Yeah. This is Zaha. We, his book here, we, we, we is not being, we Zaha. We tell you of the Nabur that has passed and the Nabur that is to come. We remind you of the Nabur that passed for so you can get right. Yes. This is written so you can know now mm -hmm. the do's and don'ts. Yeah, right. This book is, is, is not a religious book. It's a way how to serve and live for Abba Yahweh. Yes. That's it. Yes. And it's also the black, so called black man history book, Yahweh. Yes. Praise the mighty God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yachanan, John chapter 3. Yachanan, John chapter 3. Yachanan, John, John chapter 3. Yachanan, John chapter 3. Yachanan, John chapter 3. And here it is. Mm -hmm. All you New Testament believers. Y'all call y'all some New Testament believers. But now I know, I know how you can't, you can't believe. Because you, you can't believe something you don't read. You don't read it, you don't know it. But you believe in what an Adon or a man or woman tell him from Nahum. He said, study yourself for proof. Yeah. He didn't say, let them study and they tell you what they think I said to be true. Holla Yahweh. Yahweh 9, chapter 3 and 13. Here it is. New Testament. Here it is. Here it is. You don't believe this? You call him the creator of all mankind? A liar. Read. John chapter 3 and verse 13. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Come. Huh. Mm -hmm. huh. And 
and no Allah has ascended up into to Shemaim, but Yeshua that came down from Shemaim, even the Hamad Adam, he used to call the Hamad because he came in the flesh. Right. He was the Adam, Adam, like some of you Jew the man who don't believe in Yeshua, try to put Dawid in it, you can try it all you want. But Dawid says this stuff as, as a cup, a cup, the, the rock was saying, he said, he said, Mind down, said to mind down, sit ye on your young man hand till I make all your enemies your footstool. Yeah. He ain't got we ain't up, he got that with God, we ain't saying that. <laughs> to the Mac. Yeah. Up to Shemaim, but he got the sure that came down from Shemaim. Even the high of honor which is in Shemaim. He's on the young man hand, you know, interceding for us. Still pleading with his yeah. daddy for us. Give him some hand, give him some high seat. Yeah. Give him a little more time. Not yet, Bob. Yeah. You know the time. Yeah. But you have given them, you know, these double rings so they can yeah. see the spiritual out there and see that it's closing in. Everything's going to line like you have written it to go give, to give it to him, Daddy. Praise the mighty God. Yeah. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. This is the book of God. Of this cat, get you a totally cat. Every situation on in this cat we live, this earthly cat, an answer right in this book. Sure is. This is a high man's instructional book. Right. Anything going wrong with you? Sickness, love, love, love sick, love sick, whatever. Mm -hmm. Financial sick. Mm -hmm. Open up his his his, yeah. his medicine book right. and get his medicine. He's yeah. called Kadash Dabarin, yeah. and you shall and will overcome. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise the Abba Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2, and let's read verses 15 to 25. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15. And Yahweh Elohim took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Verse 16. And Yahweh Elohim commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. Verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. Verse 18. And Yahweh Elohim said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help me for him. Praise the mighty God. See, Yahweh told him what he did, but then in 70 he said, But of the tree of Yahweh and Tob and Ra, thou shalt not eat of it. For in that in the high young that thou eatest thereof, it, thou shalt surely move. He, like you say, that was, the you knew to the man, that was, that was hand and high seat there. After they committed the crime, you know, Judge told him what it, what it is then, after they committed a crime, that was hanging out, he didn't kill him right then. Right. So y'all right. talking about mercy and grace on the game. No, Moshe gave the Torah, Moshe ain't gave nothing. No, Moshe received the Torah from, from the Shur to tell the people. And and, 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 and when Jesus, which is the Shur gave, gave hang, hang and hang and high he had it all the time. It was him all the time. He just brought it down in his flesh to show the eye how you can get, receive it and get it. Mm -hmm. Continue. Verse 19. And out of the ground, the Yahweh Elohim formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. Verse 20, and Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was no found and help me for him. Verse 21, and Yahweh Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Verse 22, and the rib which Yahweh Elohim had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. Verse 23, And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. 
verse 24. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall Adam leave his father and his him and, and shall cleave unto and cleave unto his Isha, and they shall become our flesh. He didn't say, therefore Adam will leave mama and daddy. If you ain't taught right, you don't know to get a girlfriend and shack up. Mm -hmm. And then he yeah. can just do what he wants and do what she wants. Mm -hmm. No, he said they become a car. Yeah. A car. Mm -hmm. One. So that's one man. It's like yeah. the temple. Like here, Yahweh and Shul Temple. We become a car. One man. Believing what is Genesis and Revelation. Yeah. And then when there's a disagreement, we 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 get to, we do the chest time to, to that flesh. To get it up out and we reason together and get it right. So when Guess or come on, we talking the same talk wherever we going. He said, let this one mind be in you all that. So I always tell him, wherever you go, we are speaking and doing and acting the same. No division. Right. Continue. Verse 25. And they were both naked, <coughs> the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. That's right. See, it was our car, they was naked, and they wasn't ashamed. They, as Yahweh as, as was talking to our dog, she was right there. Getting the knowledge right there. How you know she got the knowledge and gave it, he gave it the myth, myth brought to her, her too, because she repeated it to the devil. So he had told her. So that's why y'all, that's why y'all say a woman can got right. He taught her to think he knew she was gonna have the mother of Nate of of Israel, Zion, all men and everything. Get, get it right, religious man, Judah man. How about Yahweh? Mm -hmm. yeah, if he didn't want to, uh, it's hard to, uh, or a to teach, he'd have wrote it in the command. Amen. Woman, you better not try to teach. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty God. Uh, mm -hmm. Or you should surely die. Mm -hmm. Continue. Going into verse chapter 3. Oh that, oh, that was it. Okay. Chapter 3, yeah, we've been a good year. Chapter 3. No, that wasn't that Chapter, uh, chapter 6. 1, chapter 6. Mm -hmm. Chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6. Genesis chapter 6, 1 and 4. Genesis chapter 6 and verse 1. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them. Verse 2, that the sons of Elohim saw the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. Okay, Aris, here we go. That's that the Ruach give you all some clarification. Because first one thing, Malachi cannot reproduce, you know. They can't, they yeah. can't make no babies and stuff. Nope. So, that's the end of that. I am your sure. I rest my case. Y'all done read it. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when Adam began to multiply on the high, on the face of the higher, and Beth were born unto them. That the high bounds of Elohim, which is us, the righteous. Mm -hmm. That's what they the high bounds of Elohim, the righteous. Mm -hmm. uh, which is us today. Yeah. We are sons and Beth of him yeah. today. Yeah. We, 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 we serving our dad. We are obedient to our dad. The high bound of heaven saw the high bound of Adam, Adam, the wicked one. The one that ain't served the daughters of men, yeah. men like yeah. your wicked self today. <laughs> of Adam, that they were fair, and they took them Israel of which they chose. Continue. Verse 3. And Yahweh said, My spirit should not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be a hundred and twenty years. Mm. Verse four: There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of Elohim came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, and became the same became mighty men, which were of old men of renown. Okay, mm. this is where y'all like to take the giants where the Amalekites kings came down and made giants. Now. Mm. Clarification from the Ruach HaKadah. Mm -hmm. There were giants in the higher in those days. That's just, you see these tower people walking around? Right. That's all. Period. And you mm -hmm. see there, 
Yeah. Walking around, they, they be using the word, this word, and it's giant. Mm -hmm. They were two tall people. Mm -hmm. They separate. Yeah. Those, those young, and, and after that, when the high bonds of Ellen came into the high depths of Adam, see the right, that Darius righteous men disobeyed them and got them some bad women because they looked fine. Yeah. Now that's what fairy, they just said right. looking fine. Right. Physically. Like today. Physically. Go, yeah. yeah, physically. Like today. Yeah. Now man, go try to go. They eat Ebre and try to go get a Sunday. <coughs> then you gonna mm -hmm. change because you're fat. Mm -hmm. You say y'all ain't for yoke. Yep. And and they bear band to them. The same came mighty Adam, which uh, were of uh, oh Adam of renowned mighty. They just was mighty men. They was mighty and of renowned men. That same thing. They was just some mighty men of old. They were they had they had position status. That's yeah. mighty men. They were mighty. Because Israel, you know, is mighty. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all it was. They yeah. just mixed with them and they didn't supposed to do it. Yeah. Praise the mighty out for his revelation knowledge from Genesis to Revelation. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 17. Genesis chapter 17. Genesis 7. Yeah, like I brought stronger you had did last I was saying. You can't go get a sister because she got a big old boot tie. Mm -hmm. Her booty might be big, but her brain's small. And ain't got y'all. Genesis chapter 17. Genesis chapter 17. That's on even the yoke. You lost it. Genesis chapter 17, verse 1 to 6. Genesis chapter 17 and verse 1. And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, Yahweh appeared unto Abram and said unto him, I am El Shaddai. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Praise the mighty God. Here it is. Roman prison. And when Abram was ninety years old and nine, Yahweh appeared to Abram and Amar unto Abram. I am El Shaddai, Elohim. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Yeah, what he was saying. Yep. Listen to me, right. and this is how you're going to be perfected. My right. daughter ring, you're going to be mature. Yeah. You ain't going to waver. You ain't going to let no flesh in and tell you to have your what, what, what I'm about to send you through and tell you what to do. Amen. Just like we are. Amen. We ain't had no idea, no, no thought of the devil. Titch. Thoughts, intentions, suggestions. From no idea or no devil in. We only hear our but Yahweh's right. voice. And you're right. sure that's it. Yep. Contain. And perfect, that's what it is. They listen to me. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. Perfection. Perfect. We perfect. From Genesis to Revelation, the Ruach is perfect. Yeah. Once you have it, you for the flesh, eh? Mm -hmm. Well, we living in a flesh and body spirit man. We follow these 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 spiritual perfected dog ring. We, we perfect in our mind. Because we ain't obedient. Only way you can get a perfection of your mind is obedient. Obedience to the word. Yeah. Then you get Michelle and authority over everything. Mm -hmm. Continue. Verse 2. And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. Verse 3. And Abraham, Abraham fell on his face, and Elohim talked with him, saying, mm -hmm. Verse 4. As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Praise the man. In verse 3, he said, Abba fell on his face, and Adam talked a mom with him in the mind. He, he bowed down. He yeah. uh, else died. Mm -hmm. He talked to me. Woo, let me give him uh, his homage. He went down because he, he said, that we need to bow. Yeah, we bow now. Right. We bow now so right. we can right. receive our crown next time we bow to him. You gonna bow because he did because he said he ain't gonna bow. Yeah. Gonna break you down. Like he said break your bones and he build them up. He's gonna break your bone down, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be too late for you. Mm -hmm. How do y'all continue? Verse, verse 5. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abraham, but 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 thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. Verse 6, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. That's right. I am sure. 
Mm -hmm. I, I rest my case. He told him that he rested. Abraham believed. Mm -hmm. Like we supposed to believe everything that our that daddy said, our big brother came to tell us. Mm -hmm. He heard from the dead. No one has seen Abba, uh, Abba Yahweh except he sure. So he come, he said, I come not not to testify to myself, but my daddy. Yeah. Which is our daddy. Yeah. Abba Yahweh. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. Here it is, Eric. This is for everybody. Here it is, Eric. Exodus chapter 20. This is for everybody. You ain't doing this, you ain't serving y'all. Mm. You have formed Elohim Lee, but not, not in the way he wants you to go. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to start somewhere, but once you hear truth, once you, you, know, you can only do better when you know better. Mm -hmm. And when you hear truth, that's your opportunity to do better. Yeah. Now she refused it. Mm -hmm. Most people want to refuse it, thinking they from being a king. He said, get from there. He said, well, we cast out demons, this, 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 and that. And I say some people think they're good things because you're good on the there. He tell you, ain't nobody good. But no, that when he was in the flesh. And some brother, uh, Brother Max, said, he said, look, he said, nobody good. He was in the flesh. He knew the flesh ain't no good without the Ruach. That's what he was saying. Yeah. You, ain't, you ain't no good unless you got him covering up his damn money. Amen. That's when the flesh is good walking in the Ruach. Yeah. Without him. You ain't no good. No good deeds don't mean nothing to him. Because you came and you didn't serve him, like you said. Yeah. Exodus chapter 20. Here it is, Eric. Mm -hmm. 1 to 17. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. And Elohim spake all these words, saying, verse 2, I am Yahweh, thy Elohim, which hath brought thee out of the land of Mizraim, out of the house of bondage. Verse 3. Thou shalt have no other Elohims before me. Mm. Verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Praise the mighty I hear it is Most of y'all call yourself Roman Christian. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or likeness of anything that is in mine above or that is in the air beneath or that is in the high mind under the air. Cross like Robin Sloman and Robin Cow said, you might well have an execution no electric chair around your chain. That cross was a thing of truth. No killing it. He ain't on there no more. That's a grave in him. Yeah. And the little little fishy thing, he said in the sea, that's a grave in him. He letting you know. You don't know that you don't both of you don't, you don't, you don't want that because you, you're worshiping that, that piece of creation than the creator. Mm -hmm. How do you think that's holier than than now? Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh, thy Elohim, am a jealous Elohim. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me. Praise the man. He's talking about bowing down to the statue Mary and doing the cross bees and all that. The old statues they got around the air. Right. He let you know. He's jealous. He's going to get you for it because you're bowing and giving them homage instead of him. Mm -hmm. Continue. Verse 6. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. And then look at that. And showing I say to thousands of them that have me and Shemar my command. Not to him and then ignore him like, oh, that's all right. Like, he loved me up. Believe in that lie that he loves everybody. He tells me who he loves. Continue. Mm -hmm. Verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy Elohim in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Yeah. All these, all these sanctioned words, the words they sent you by. Roman Catholic Church. You mm -hmm. took his name in vain just to go do your dead, dirty work of the devil. Mm. All type of thing came to this country, taking it, it taking it, it in, in vain in his name, using it, but it was the devil you were working for, you know, wiping out people that, the, the natives that was here, all across the world. Yeah. You know, you, you, you go into it when, when, when they sailed, the, thinking they, America wasn't discovered, they just landed on America, it was all people here. Coming with the name, using the name in vain. Mm -hmm. Continue. 
Verse 8. Remember the Shabbat day and to keep it holy. This command, Yom 1, Sunday 1 teaches. Hmm. Remember the Sabbath, Yom, to keep it to death. And in the beginning, y'all don't read it, you big new teachers. Y'all don't read it when he said seventh day. Right. And he said, I'm resting, you know, I'm resting and sanctified. You set apart. Yeah. Ain't no God because y'all try to make it into that Yeshua road. He was already gone on, on Sunday morning. So he was already gone. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it that and breaking their bread with uh, they, they taking money and time, all that. He ain't changing. Y'all doctrine, doctrinated. People tell you that they took it among these up the chain. Roman Catholic Church. Continue. Verse 9. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Verse 10. But the seventh day is the Sabbath, is the Shabbat of Yahweh thy Elohim. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant. Nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Hey, 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 then you know here, six days, six yards, thou yeah. shalt labor and do do all thy work. Six days, baby, six days, mm -hmm. six days. He said, get you down your business in six days. Right. But the seven yarn is the Sabbath of Yahweh, yeah. thy other hand. And now in, in it that thou shalt do no, do, do not any work. Down on that man, man, that they better, that man, ever. I don't have no that made ever, nor the cattle, nor the ice ranger. Mm -hmm. That's for everybody. Yeah. Everybody who's talking to you, but he said, Swing, that yeah. is within your gate. Yeah. Which is you want to get with y'all, you got to come in the gate. He letting you know yeah. that we did. He sanctified. Y'all know Sunday is the first day, but they twisted it and tried to and make it fit today to be there or you can't. As Robin God said, no lies of the truth. Y'all gonna get with you. Continue. Verse 11. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, Yahweh blessed the Shabbat day and hallowed it. Verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which Yahweh thy Elohim giveth thee. Verse 13. Thou shalt not kill. Verse 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Verse 15. Thou shalt not steal. Verse 16. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Verse 17. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yes, praise the mighty God. Mm -hmm. And it's written in it, the Kadadah, the in the New Testament. It may not be here, but it sure said. The one y'all know is Jesus it out of his own mouth. I have come not to do away with the Torah, but sure to fear. Sure That's when he was on that cross. He said, it is finished. He did everything that was written of him. So, y'all you know, it's in there. <laughs> it's in there. And like he said, what is what is y'all's definition of hot time? You, you know, you break, uh, you, know, you, could, you break the Torah, you have committed sin. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. You have, you have committed sin. That's how I know y'all don't read. But that don't mean... You get you gonna get a uh, a monopoly pass, skip pass, skip pass, go past the lake of fire. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I mean, you get to go mm -hmm. go not to the lake of fire pass. Because right. mm -hmm. you set up in that 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 that, that church fifty years and ain't learn nothing. Just how to do that run and shout. Mm -hmm. It's all right when the spirit's room with, but most of y'all be put faith in fun, mm -hmm. but on the act. That's what it is. Y'all ain't got no access. He got do us. Praise the mighty y'all. Exodus chapter 29. You're going to be faking that funk right to the liquor fire. You're going to repair it and return it. That's what hain is, y'all. It ain't, it ain't. You say the hain, which is Yeshua, and then there's hain that's giving you a merited favor to give you time to repent. Come back. That's what it is. Exodus 29, Exodus 29, Exodus 29 and verse 9. 
Exodus chapter 29 and verse 9. And thou shalt gird them with girdles, Aharon and his sons, and put the promise on them. And, and the priest's office shall be theirs for a perpetual statute. And thou shalt consecrate Aharon and his sons. Okay. Uh, Israel, and this is for the Arabs too. Mm -hmm. uh, this is it. This is how you're going to be representing Yah when you're up here. Yeah. Thou shalt gird them with girdle, up my line and band, and put bonnets, bonnets, go look it up. Right. Yeah, go look it up mm -hmm. on them. And the high coin offering shall be theirs for a perpetual statue. And thou shalt consecrate our line and band. The perpetual, all generations. This he giving it, he giving it, y'all, I am y'all sure. I rest my case. He tell you how to dress for him. Mm -hmm. Tell you how to dress for him. Yeah. Numbers chapter 15. Numbers chapter 15. He tell you how to get up in what to wear for him. Yeah. Now, ain't no uh, so right, t-shirt and cut up jeans. He's telling you how he wants you to represent him being dressed. This is yeah. for the Arab. He said for strangers, all that ain't, ain't natural Israel is strangers. Mm -hmm. And everyone must become spiritual Israel. He said, yeah. flesh and damn thing in the air, then how you come spiritual? Be baptized and follow these dark rain. Yes, sir. That's the only way. <clears throat> Numbers 15. Numbers 15. Numbers 15, let's read verses 37 to 41. Numbers 15 and verse 37. And Yahweh spake unto Moshe. And Yahweh Amon. Yahweh Amon. Now Moshe saying Yahweh Amon. So this is a command. This is Yeshua saying, I am Yeshua. I rest my case. Contain. Verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put on the fringe of the borders a ribband of blue. Praise the mighty God. Eric, he didn't say it can be any color, but that, that ribbon of blue. Mm -hmm. This is this is command. Mm -hmm. This is it. You, this is for all you're supposed to be, you know, what y'all call pastor, priest, whatever. This is it. This is how you're supposed to dress. Yeah. Continue. Mm -hmm. Verse 39. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Yahweh and do them. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye used to go a whoring. That's right. He's talking to everybody. This shall be unto you for a friend that you may look upon him and remember all the mispot by of Yahweh and do them. See, you got to do them, Eric. And, and that you seek not after your own mind on what you figured to do. Oh, it's like it. we ain't living in a charismatic world today and all that. No, y'all the same yesterday day. Y'all read this in the old and the new. But yet you ain't following. Your own pay and your own eye after which you used to go a horn. Used to. He spoke as you know better, you do better. Yeah. You're saying what you think to be right. He said, your own eye. He didn't say you ain't seen out of my spiritual eye. Continue. Verse 40. That ye may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your Elohim. Mm -hmm. Verse 41, I am Yahweh your Elohim which brought you out of the land of Mizraim to be your Elohim. Praise I the am mind. Yahweh your Elohim. Praise the mind. This is for the whole era. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the rest y'all got drafted in. Y'all knew to believe you know when you got drafted in. Mm -hmm. You got drafted in. But he was always, those strangers was always with him. Long as they, they did the same as Israel, he said they the same as a homeborn of your own. Mm -hmm. Praise the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. The Leviticus 19, Leviticus chapter 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 19, let's read verses 3, 3 to 6. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 3. You shall fear every man his mother and his father, and keep my Shabbats. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Verse 4. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten Elohims. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Praise my hand. Let me read three. You shall reverence. Yahweh the one. I want you to feel like as we as a feast compare 
that physical growth to the spiritual. If you fear, fear your mom and daddy, you wouldn't go to him. The same as y'all. If you fear him for what he's saying, you wouldn't go to him. It's, he wants you to reverence, respect him. Yeah. That's all it is. That's he said. Respect every other on his M and his I. Mm -hmm. And Shema might say, I am Yahweh your Elohim. Turn you not to idols. Idols with anything. Yourself, your mind, your God, whatever you put before Yah. Mm -hmm. It's an idol. Mm -hmm. and, and turn you not to idols. Nor make to yourself more than Elohim. I am Yahweh your Elohim. Continue. Verse 5. And if ye offer a sacrifice of peace offering unto Yahweh, ye shall offer it at your own will. Verse 6, it shall be eaten the same day ye offer it, and on the morning and on the morrow. And if aught remain until the third day, it shall be burnt in the fire. Praise Yahweh, right. because the third day symbolized thing, the sure rising and all that, these, mm -hmm. the third day's big. It's, it was. It was the, the old the shadow of, of the thing to come. The old the shadow of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. That's what he was giving you a shadow of himself. He was showing you himself. Praise the mighty Yah. Hallelujah. That's the mighty Yah. Leviticus chapter 21. Leviticus chapter 21. And let's read verse 5. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Hallelujah. Mm. Boy, this is for the world, because y'all know people at Raw McCarthy and brothers from the big countries, how they like to make it, you know, change or hear it. They shall not make bones upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Your head, this is it, y'all, the beard, this is it. Your head is there. Your head is this. This is what the beard is saying. Mm -hmm. No, no ball. You know, he say, you don't be like the Egyptian. You know, run your ball head. Whatever you have, you wear. Mm -hmm. You don't cut it all. You don't make it slick like Mr. Clean. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that make it ball. And they say them cutting. Y'all, y'all see some other tribal people cutting on this now. No, don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I am sure. I rest my case. What he say is fine. He's like, you know how you got this book, it's not really, it's just a book on how to live and serve Yahweh. Mm -hmm. It's all it is. Deuteronomy chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7. It's just a book on how to live and serve Yahweh. So you can get eternal life. That's what it's about. I like to uh, the congregation. <clears throat> I like the congregation to repeat this out to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am at the right place. I am at the right place at the right time. At the right time. I am at the right place. I am at the right place at the right time. At the right time. Hallelujah. 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 Let me go over these songs now. You, you clap your hands, stomp your feet, tap the ring up in front of you. Do anything you want to. <laughs> 